welcome back to beautiful wintry Sweden. Winter in northern Sweden is so dark. With only four to five hours of decent light, I've been preparing lots of projects. To be honest, I was panicking. As a wildlife photographer, I should be producing photos of wildlife, but wildlife seems to be so secretive in the darkness of winter. So I've been doing everything I can to try and get images. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I have to admit, you are all starting to panic me as I thought my red jacket was actually the reason I wasn't taking images. So Juan and I put up a tent to completely hide away from wildlife. Although there isn't any footage of me actually in the tent, I promise you we spent hours in it and the squirrels still didn't show up, so it's not my red jacket. <laughs> they run behind the house to access different trees, so I often just run out with my camera. The other day our neighbour told us about a beaver dam and I've never seen a beaver so I was very keen to check it out. Our neighbour told us roughly where it was and we ended up going on a three hour walk to find it. Thank you. 
After three hours of walking, we met our neighbour. He showed us the beaver dam, and of course, it was only about 10 minutes from the path. The reason we couldn't see it is because it was covered in snow. Beaver dams are actually super cool because the only entrance is from the river. So they go underwater to get in and out, but their actual sleeping and resting quarters are on land. So I'm sure it's super warm and sheltered. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. On Squarespace, it's really easy to make a professional website with no previous knowledge of website building. Squarespace has been a game changer for my business. I sell my calendars and baby pair pins on my site. When I'm on the go, I use the app to check for new orders. I have Royal Mail connected to Squarespace, so I don't need to email customers or type out shipping labels. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, use Danny Connor Wild to get 10% off your first purchase. We've had a mix of cold days and windy days, but I absolutely love the winter golden light. The guest bedroom is still the best place for the small birds. And the other day I photographed bullfinches after the sunset and it was just so pretty. I love, love, love colour gradients. I got a shot of a bullfinch and I'm super pleased with it. But back to the squirrel forest. Since I gave up with the tent, I've focused my attention on the jumping squirrels. I designed the perches in a way that they don't need to go to the ground in order to jump or access the food they can just jump from a tree. As they weren't coming to the ground, I was super hopeful that the jumping perches would work and did it. Last night it went up to two Celsius and it was also really windy so most of the snow on the branches has either fallen off because of the wind or melted so the forest looks pretty pretty gross there's just bits all over the snow on the ground but there's good news the squirrels have started jumping and i filled up the pot with about four or five hazelnuts and walnuts and they have disappeared so the squirrels are definitely jumping so today I'm going to set up the camera trap I'm not hoping for amazing photos today I just want the squirrels to get used to the camera and the sensor and hopefully when it snows in a couple of days I will be getting good photos but I can use this day for the squirrels to get used to a camera being there but I don't think they're going to bother. I'm really happy that the squirrels are finally jumping. I've just finished preparing everything for my camera trap. I'm going to have it up tomorrow morning and see if I get any photos. Um, but I've got 
one flash and I've put it on the least powerful setting so it's just a bit of burst of light which will help illuminate the squirrel as it's jumping. I've tested the sensor and it seems to be working fine. I'm aiming more for them to take off from the jumping perch rather than the feeding perch but it should trigger them jumping this way as well. I have left a few hazelnuts in the cup so if they want to jump this evening whilst the tripods are here they can but it starts snowing tomorrow morning so hopefully everything looks nice again because it looks a bit rubbish at the moment and quite dark and that's all can you go over there and try and be a squirrel a squirrel exactly so i can do the focus please okay this one uh-huh and then this one and then this one. Okay, excellent. That's done. Okay. Can you move a bit? Woohoo! set up the camera trap last night and I can see two squirrels around and they're eating spruce cones so I'm going to check the cup first because that's the first indicator if anyone's jumped okay there's a lot there all right I'm not sure check the camera Thirty-two pictures. Bird. Bird. Oh, what is that? Bird. Just birds. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I think the camera died because it was too cold. Yeah, so it didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. I was becoming super frustrated. I just wasn't getting any photos. And my previous experience with squirrels is that they're easy to photograph. But this winter has been very different. Wildlife aside, we don't have internet at the house, nor do we have a car. And we were starting to feel super isolated. So we've actually left Sweden. I'm not sure if you can tell by this light, but this is definitely not winter Sweden light. But we're in London with my family. I'm going to do the Q&A next week, so I'm still going to answer all the questions about the house and anything else. So don't worry, I will answer them. But I will answer one popular question, which is whether I have the right to live in Sweden, and I don't. We have applied for a residency, but apparently it takes 29 months to receive an answer, so for now, we are waiting. We can only visit for three months within a six month period, which sucks and is super frustrating, but there's nothing we can do. But the good news is the next couple of months look pretty busy. I'm going away for 10 days soon on a very cool secret project, which I can't talk about yet. And I've started planning the next film with the Red Squirrel Survival Trust as their ambassador. And I'm going to Scotland 
But where should I go next? I'm always looking for cool opportunities and maybe one of you can help me out. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you to my incredible patrons for supporting my work and I'll see you in the next video.